Hello and welcome to another episode of Me Painting. We're on oil eye number uh, 11. <laughs> 11, yeah, oil eye number 11. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're just getting ready to do a painting and uh, I'm sitting back having a look at a tree this time. Yeah, I wanted to do a tree. You wanted me to do a tree, didn't you? Yeah, I, I like trees. Yeah, I like trees as well. So we picked this one, didn't we? Yeah, I picked it. You picked it. Yeah, yeah. It was a good pick. I like it. It's got some uh, good roots, and that's really what we do in this part of the tree, the bottom part. So we can practice mixing the different greens, which will be fun, won't it? Yeah, that very fun. Okay, so let's uh, <laughs> let's get started, Smidge. Uh, you you sit on your little chair over there again, and then. Uh, And we'll get started yeah so I'm not really worried about the background today and um, like all this stuff I'm not bothered <laughs> I'm really gonna focus in on the tree trunk Whew, I'm, uh, I'm struggling <laughs> this is the 11th day of painting and it's not so much the painting it's the fact that I've been doing overtime at work and I've been starting it four o'clock in the morning yeah so it's been early starts and uh, I'm just gonna move this up you won't see it <laughs> it just makes it easier for me to draw if I got them in line really basically so it's just above and I'm just gonna do a very loose um, drawing using a bit of watered down paint and we'll use a bit of watered down sap green because there's quite a lot of green in this tree and I think doing a tree like this oh if you're a beginner it's going to help you um, and why because most beginners do tree trunks brown <laughs> and uh, and they're not always brown a lot of the times they're green so this going to help you and it's going to help me and uh, that's why I'm doing this that's why I'm really you know why why do I lie why do a painting every day why commit to it because I want to get better as a painter and uh, and by committing to something like this means that I'll do 30 odd paintings well 31 paintings in uh, one month guaranteed <laughs> and that's 31 paintings more than if I didn't do any <laughs> so yeah it's a good idea for me to do I think that's all I'll do is for the initial sketch don't really need to do anything else so we need to put a basic background in and I quite like that this there's, there's a soil colour. Let's move this down so we can see that what I mean. I like I like the soil colour. So let's mix that first. So I've got some white already out. I saved some white from my palette from yesterday. And that's all I could say, really. <laughs> I don't half mix the colours up when I do my paintings. And then I don't half make a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. And it was partly dry as well. Because it's been so warm recently. Things have been dry. So I'm sort of looking at this and imagining the colours I would use like um like this area i see a uh, very light sap green and it might have a tiny bit of red in it as well i think and then then i'm looking here thinking well that's quite more yellow than that so that's going to probably have a bit of cad yellow in the green and, and white and then this is a dark it's probably going to have uh, a bit of burnt umber in with a green to dull it get that and this is quite grey so like this it's 
quite a grey colour. It's looking sort of light burnt umber with a bit of ivory black in it. Maybe, 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 maybe. So we'll have a go and uh, see what happens really. I might put a, like a light blue at the top as well. Just so I've got a basic. <laughs> there was two people in the background there. And I got rid of them in Photoshop. <laughs> uh, badly, but they got rid of them anyway. So, righty rooster. What are we going to do first? So we'll mix that colour first. I'm thinking mix. <laughs> oh, where's my burnt umber? What's that one? That's raw umber. I want the burnt umber. Burn umber. Let's put that out. Probably need a verb bit of that. Oh, my paint tubes are getting empty. Uh, emptier. Good job Clive gave me his. <laughs> yeah. You know Clive at Clive 5 Art. You probably do. Uh, he does uh, acrylic paintings. And uh, like me, he's a fan of Bob Ross. And uh, anyway. He had to go at oil painting uh, using these paints and he won't mind me telling you this I'm sure and uh, I think we mentioned it in the chat actually <laughs> and he had a go at them and because he was so used to his system of painting using acrylics it threw him completely and he uh, then in turn threw them at me <laughs> Uh, and I was like, thanks very much. <laughs> I like him. So we have a colour. Um, I put a bit of red in there. I want a bit of blue in as well. Because that's my colour is slightly too warm, I think. So you've seen me mixing colours in other episodes. I'm always thinking, is it too warm or is it too cold? Is it... Um, does it need more green? Does it need more? Does it need grey in? Do I need to put a bit of black in it? Do I need to put a bit of brown in it? And then uh, get it close-ish. See, I've gone. I don't know how I did that. Got so light. Get so light. You see, we're really close here. It's slightly to the, I think it's a bit more to the red in areas. Mm, yeah. It needs graying a little bit. I'll get a bit of black. And that'll do me. It's about, it's about, about right. It's pretty close actually. So we'll just uh, let's just put this in the background here. I'll just fill this in, and then uh, I think what I'll do is I'll use quite thick paint as well. I'm just going in between my white and that colour. So I'm not using the same bit of dark colour, bit of light colour. Just do a, a like I said, a very basic background. I might even use this uh, Might even use this uh, base colour just to cover uh, so I can get some roots on top. Maybe? Yeah, I think it'd be alright. There's quite a lot of roots in there. Yeah, we'll feather it in like this. So, any areas that I need to cover up? I can do. It's 
some of these areas I might miss a bit of paint but I don't care <laughs> I'm using a, uh, a Windsor & Newton canvas board today It's only a, a 10 by 8 one I think I'll go a little tiny bit darker in, in this bit But I quite like using the small ones as well You don't always have to paint big Also the problem is when you paint big Use a lot of paint. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you're wanting to do a lot of pictures on a budget, that's one way of saving yourself a few quid by doing smaller canvases. You're still practicing, you're still doing paintings. I've got some really small ones <laughs> I'm gonna have to do one one of these episodes I've got to use a, a really small one It'd be funny <laughs> like uh, here's today's picture I did two brush strokes and it's finished <laughs> you know those little tiny little canvases you can buy the novelty presents for yeah. people that paint I bet everyone does painting I've seen them or been bought one About, I bet 50% of you that have been bought a present while you people have known you're a painter have been bought a miniature canvas Could even put green there, but then I really like green. Hmm. Let's see how it looks. If I just do something like this, get a bit of blue in that. It does look a bit like that Just a little bit of green here A little bit of green there This is just background material This is really a tree study Tree trunk study I'm not really that worried about this bit Anything I'm trying not to do is blend it too much I want, I want there to be these actions Just to change things up in there Yeah, something like that I'll do, okay, I'll do for my background So I'll just rest this, maybe I'll move this over here For our colour mixing, maybe I can hide this behind there Okay ah. 
you see some of that trunk? Yeah, you can. That's good. Um, where can you see it? To there. There. Alright, so. Let's move up the space. Now uh, we'll start mixing this colour. I'm going to start with this colour. It's quite a dark colour. Looks kind of greeny brown. We go like this. We go. It's not far off. Greeny brown. I think it's got a little bit of blue in it. Yeah, that's pretty close. So that'll do for some of those colours, but I want two brushes going and I want a this something more like this colour as well. Not that brush, don't like that brush. This brush looks good. So I'll have another colour over, over here and this is it's got a bit of blue in it as well, but it's got more white in it this one. So yeah, just mix, mix a bit more of the ultra blue, more of the white. That's probably a bit too bright looking at it. But it's it's really close to that. So I might just dull it down just a a tiny bit of this blue and brown. All colour works quite well. So let's start throwing some colour in. Let's make more paint because we want to be too bloody uh, blooming, uh, blinking, cheap. <laughs> let's actually use some paint here, man. Come on, use some paint, man. In there. Okay, let's have a look at that. Slightly too brown, I would say. It's almost like the sap of the green. A bit more sap of the green. going to be closer yeah so I think this brush is a bit big for what we need to do so put that aside and we'll use our other brush this brush yeah that brush will probably do better I think okay so let's just start this then yeah so about there, start it about here, along here, like that. So putting in some of this colour. Just dragging it down. About there. Goes to about there. So I'm doing a different style again, I'm being a bit more loose today, being a bit more impressionistic, not, I'm not going to be as specific as I was painting some of the paintings I've done like the B, I'm trying to be a bit more accurate with this one, I'm going to loosen up just go for colour and shape and try and try and get that feeling try and get that feeling of painting it's quite light there and then I start developing that need for colours that aren't there <laughs> just 
happens with me. You get that feeling, you start seeing colours that aren't there. I do anyway. I think it's a. Uh, I'm sure, well, I know other artists do. <laughs> you start developing your own eye for colour, creativity. I need some black. I'm going to use another brush for the black. So we'll have three brushes on one over Some of this dark here. Okay, so. uh -uh. Mm, let me just sit back and have a look at this. Yeah, this is a long way off. Long way. This needs to be more like here. That's better. And then uh, this black. Is, uh, I'll stick a bit of brown in the black as well, actually. Brown and black. So this bit actually wants to be more like there. And it goes. Then let's get some of this. Make a middle of the road core. Middle of the road. Some light like green. So if we change the tree, that's fine with me. If we make it thicker, lighter, stronger, honestly today I do not mind. I do not mind. I'm happy. I'm happy for whatever to happen to happen. white paint left in this tube it keeps coming out but I have to order a new tube of white I'm amazed how far this has gone though <laughs> it's the first big white tube of paint that I've bought using these paints and it just shows I've done a lot of paintings using that white to uh, see those roots so we'll move this uh, um, picture in a minute so I can see the other areas so I can start throwing in all the bits quite light light pressure there a 
bit of red there just to warm that up. This bit. Darken that a bit more. And it's a bit dark there as well. dark here I use this green brush Oops, another uh, dark area two roots color Sitting back, we'll start um, developing things a bit more. Be a bit rougher. Some of this paint and some of that blue. Almost feels like this part of the tree is uh, this area. Feels like it should be cold. this red now because I'm just dotting in these blue bluey bluey green bits. Just feels more cold over this side and then the other side feels more warm. So we'll make a a reddish brown no. I'm gonna warm this side up a bit okay I quite like that so far I like that Same on this side, I want to create that similar effect. I'm liking that effect now. Yeah, let's get another, another brush and I want a this dull a bit of black in it. To uh, get some of these marks. Marks and shapes and things, imperfections. So these trees, they take a battering over the years, don't they? Areas of light. Area 
Okay, so. Areas of coolness. I need some of that cat yellow as well. We might need another brush. <laughs> Got a few brushes going. Just sit back, have a look. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this brush going. A bit of this sap green here. Let's make a stronger one there. Yeah, that's about right. Just a quick check. Obviously the yellow is going to be affected a little bit by the paint that's already on there, so we need to make it a bit stronger. Around there. Dot it down there. We can create a root there. It's a big root. Big, big root there. And we need a dark. We need a dark green as well now. <laughs> Got this one. Let's use this one as well. Yeah, lots of them going on. I'm going to move this up there, and and then I can see better, and then we'll carry on. But I'm just using the same colours. I just wanted you to see the, me mixing colours really and then uh, you know the process now. Be easier for me to do it like this so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> a little better anyway. So now I can see uh, the whole painting you see and then I can uh, start developing things a bit more and I'm gonna go quite quick as well because I need a bit more blue oh that's not even blue <laughs> Good. All right, a bit of light that's sort of bounces onto that. Just juts that out a bit. are going to be slightly different because looking at it I haven't quite given myself enough room I don't think maybe I have so 
So I'm holding all my brushes like this, and then uh, and that way I can just look at my brush and pick out a green one or pick out a a light one or a dark one. And it just makes the process of painting a little bit quicker because you can just zip from brush to brush. Here, yeah, the root. It's like a foot, that is, isn't it? Also, I need a brown for this bit. <laughs> Just spot some light in. Okay, and now I'll have a look at that and some of this going there and then some of this going along there and some of the one going down there and then like that. this correct big one here use this uh, big brush and turn my brush turn it I sort of go whoosh, whoosh, trying to pick out the angle of it Sort of a grey, it's sort of a grey. Going to my black. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I picked out a blob of paint then. Mm. Black. There. Mm. There. Can be quite direct with these. Uh, there. Yeah, and a bit there as well. Better. some of these roots so we've got that root there and we need to it's not quite
darken it under there. Make that a little bit more obvious. Okay, let's do some more. Let's do some more. It's holding all the brushes. And this one goes right. All right. And there. And there. And there. And there's quite a lot going on here. a few out. I might use my artist license and miss some out. Now, eh. <laughs> trying to hold on to all these brushes. I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'll put that one down. It's because well as blue. And the blue and the brown. I'm going to cool some of this down a little bit. On this one. And this one. I think it will help to cool this down here as well. Okay, that's better. Now I can uh, add a little bit of this. shape, curving the brush, curving that brush, giving it some shape by doing that. liking this one. It's taking shape isn't it? We we'll use some of that light as well because it's the lights kind of hitting behind here and it's hitting that, that root there. It's hitting the root there as well. And there. Here. Put in another root. Use that blue. Yeah, it's going to the brownie, brownie colour. Okay, just sit back and have a look. See if I'm. Uh, yeah, what it needs in the uh, rooty area is darkening in places to make it. All right. Yeah. There's a see sort of something there. And there's a light root in the ground. It just goes. Casting a little bit of a ah, I've dropped a brush. No, it's casting a bit of a shadow. That is. Anyway, so I'm gonna put some of these marks in the ground as well. Just to. Bring things together a little bit. I'm gonna get some of that yellow. Let's pick that brush up. Get some of that yellow in with this. Create a bit of a some 
like leaf indications in here. More like yellow, yellow and white. Okay, okay. That's, that's way up in the background there. Okay, let's just sit back, sit back, have a look. Is there any areas I want to improve or add, add little bits of colour? I think we're... Uh, Out done for this fun little picture of a, a tree. With some roots. Kind of actually reminds me of this place. <laughs> I know this is a, a real place, but looking at it now, it reminds me of this other place where I used to walk my dog. And we'd go there and there's loads of leaves on the ground. So maybe I'll uh, make it look like that a little bit. Throw in a bit of this colour. Like sort of a dull yellowy colour. Keep going, you know me. You can keep going forever in these pictures. <laughs> you really could. I could. Yeah, I think I think what I don't like, if I can be picky, which I'm going to be now, is I don't like that line there, and I feel like it needs shrinking. does change the angle to what it was but I think it looks better like that. and I, I also think there should be a bit of dark in this bit Okay, I think <laughs> I think we'll call this one because uh, I could go on. I could go on and on and on and on and on. And on. I really could. could we keep making different effects and changing things and moving things. But that's really what I wanted to do, is do a uh, bottom part of a tree, have sort of fun with colour mixing and seeing what you can come up with and uh, messing about with colour. And, uh, and I quite like what's uh, developed really. So, uh, I've enjoyed doing this one. I, need, I really needed to do something a bit simpler. 
Uh, I really did. And then, uh, I know I've got an idea for tomorrow, what I'm going to do tomorrow. But yeah, there we go. We'll call this one finished and uh, it's a nice little experimental painting of uh, a tree trunk and uh, hope you enjoyed this one uh, and don't forget to check out my Facebook or Instagram or my Patreon page or um, you can get my mugs or my t-shirt and um, thanks very much for watching this episode thanks for liking and subscribing what do you mean you didn't like you didn't press the like button how dare you <laughs> now, if you enjoyed it press the like button share the video share the channel and enjoy and hope you uh, get something out of it and maybe you'll be doing paintings uh, like I do and better than what I do and, uh, and you'll go through this stage of finding it hard to put the brush down <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this episode and I'll see you in another one cheers bye <laughs>